Hello there. Soprano season three, baby. I considered taking like a day or two break in between seasons. Obviously, the double uploads have been insane and you guys have been enjoying them, I think. But I was considering, you know, I finished season two. Let's take a day or two break. But nah, I can't stop myself. The day after I finished season two, I'm beginning season three, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? It's your boy, Ellie Moses, your 23-year-old law and film student here for Senior Show. They're shooting your shot, baby. Today, we are beginning the Soprano season three with episode one titled... Mr. Ruggiero's Neighborhood. Let's get into the reaction and smash this thing. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Hey, season two begun in a similar way. With the cross dissolves and Tony walking down the driveway to see Pussy and his car there. Pompensiero was crucial to the Wavistic stock fraud case. So, Rico-wise, the airline tickets, mail and wire fraud, especially if the mother testifies in exchange for immunity. Uh-oh. Whose own mother's gonna testify against him? I say focus on his garbage business. Papa Tara told me him and Tony talked in the basement there on more than one occasion. His own basement? Really? Where's the due diligence there? Tony avoids talking business in the house if he can, but if he has to, he'll take somebody out by the pool. Except there he fears parabolics. The basement has these noisy AC ducts. He turns on the air and he feels it's safe. Are they going to try and wire the basement? Surreptitiously enter said premise. Potentially find another informant. No, Imagine Livy as an informant? Correct, Your Honor. Yeah, well, I said you could enter the basement to drop a wire. I mean, how many times do we have to impact this family's right to privacy? First, when the home is empty, we enter to take sound levels, determine where to best place the wire. Once that's decided, the listening device will be fabricated and we will re-enter to install it. Well, see that they limit both entrances to the basement only. It's not a better homes and garden store. I doubt they're going to abide by that. Happy hunting. Uh, he signed the warrant for the wire. Listen, I'll save you some gas. I'm just going down to the station I restored. Then I'll be right back. You don't got to follow me like yesterday. All right? <laughs> 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 in order for the SCT team to drop a wire in that house, there's got to be nobody at home for at least two hours. Actually, the maid is gone for a little while on Tuesday afternoons. Gone why? English language classes. She's getting a U.S. citizenship. As long as we have somebody on her during tennis and on the maid and Tony and everybody that's got a key to the house. The daughter's at Columbia, lives in the dorms. Why risk it? She's 45 minutes away via the GW. Put somebody on her. Any one of them breaks for home. We need to warn the SCT team to get the hell out of there. About AJ. So Meadow didn't end up going to Berkeley. She went to Columbia University. <laughs> Unit one, this is Control. Baby Bing headed your way. Copy Control. I love how the central focus at the beginning of the episode has been the feds and them trying to plant this wire in. Unit 5, you have visual contact of Princess Bing. Budget control. Princess Bing. <laughs> Baby Bing. Princess Bing. Bada Bing. <laughs> You'll have made Ray Jetta. SC team, the location reads secure. You have one hour and 30 minutes. Roger control. What a banger. I had him darted in the shoulder like she wanted and reinforced the hem. <laughs> Adjustments. Done. Beautiful coat. What the fuck you doing? Punch is ready. They tore it during sex? <laughs> you just washed your hands. Then I tied my shoes. So what? I can't stand touching fucking shoelaces. Never go to tie your shoes and you notice the end of your laces are wet? From what? Why would they be wet? You can never I let your guard down, idea. man. That's you when they get you, when you're too comfortable. Stand at the urinal? Oh, fuck, come on, will you? He's asking me, I'm telling him. And frankly, it's important. Even if the lace is dry, and even if you don't touch the body of the shoe, bacteria and virus migrate from the soul up. You see this on TV? <laughs> I gotta watch TV to figure out the world. Piss all over the fucking floor. Urinals jammed with cigarettes and more ball cakes. And they can pour all the fucking ice they want down there, my friend. It does nothing to kill germs. Even if you keep your shoes tied and you're not dragging your laces through the oven. Oh, shut the fuck up. 
A man's eating. Control, control, this is SCT-4. I have access to the box. I'm disabling the lines of the phone company. Pick it, Wilson. What if Kusamano, or one of the neighbors, sees control, this happening? On entry. Estimate three or four minutes. Hey, happy birthday. How old are you? 51. Who was born first? You were spoon. <clears throat> Walter White. 51. <laughs> minutes. Hey, it was a fucking tragedy. What are you gonna do? The life we chose him, I ran time. But my brother was never a heavy guy with anybody. I mean, he was a sweet, gentle man. Oh, Marge, you got me. You brother was your twin brother. Billy. Friends, like us, called him spoons. Somebody whacked a kid. A couple months before you came over. You big motherfucker! Fuck! So you identical twin? Or the other kind? Identical. Yeah. Have some need. There's a twin bond. Yeah. Unless you experienced it, you can't understand You're it. You're okay with onions, right? Maybe it sounds fucking crazy to you. Hey, nothing sounds crazy anymore. The older I get. <clears throat> well, it's over, right? Mm. Oh, that's right. That guy knocked over spoons in the car. Staring oh, right him in the face. Identical twins, a lot of times, they'll die within a couple of days of each other. That would have been okay with me, believe me. Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> I miss him so much. Hey, well, that's natural. But you're with us now, so why don't you uh, leave the morbid shit back at Junior's crew and uh, have a happy birthday? Yeah. Salud. 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 Tie your shoes and have a bite of Brajol. <laughs> it's still not. It's a joke. Come on. Hello. That's not a good look. That's not a good look. Tensions. God, don't transfer me now. <laughs> Adriano Reserva. <laughs> How green was my fucking valley. God, you know don't transfer me now. Hey, Ed. Hey. This is my friend I was telling you about, Adriana Laserva, Ed Restuccia. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm delighted to teach any pal of Karam's. She's my most disciplined student. Adriana playing tennis like that? This is why she the hottest wag in the show, all right? She the hottest wag in the show. Like, smash your pass, Super Mario Smash Bros, baby. Come on, man. Perfect muscle tone doesn't hurt either. <laughs> Unfortunately, listen, I, uh, I have to apologize, Karam. I thought I called everybody, but I'm not going to be teaching here anymore. But you're in luck. Birgit here is taking over for me. How wonderful. I never even played like once. That's why you're here. Oh, Carl, before you start, it would really help if I could get letters of recommendation. It's oh, by the way, this company Kitty's joining. They sell antiques on the web. So if you ever wanted a special piece. I don't have antiques. My house is traditional. Uh, I'm cutting into your lesson. Sorry. Carmela, bye. Nice meeting you. Take care. A female tennis coach with two females is going to be interesting. Oh my gosh. Like having three Nick Kyrgioses on the court. Maybe Bing is leaving school property. It's going to be entertainment. Right. Taking orders, dude. Pete Snapple. Me too. I only got two bucks. Come on, baby, Bing. What kind of retard rule is that? Cigarettes, weed shirt. Why see how useful boards would be at school anyway? Like in the cafeteria. Each person online could just roll past the, like, food pans or whatever and make the decisions in, like, half the time. Yeah. That food tastes like ass anyway. They part of the Tony Hawk Club. Where you been, dude? Fourth Adonis. What's up, Slim? What class you guys ditching? Assembly. <laughs> Jersey. Yeah. Wait, you went out for JV ball? Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Quadriplegic of the future. Remind me not to visit you in the hospital. That is a cool shirt. Yeah. Whoa. Well, what position? Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me they're gonna hustle his jersey. Nah, I hope. Bro, what happened okay, to the basement being the only target? No snipping around the house. Like 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 the person said, it's not better homes than gardens. On VHS, on VHS, fight right through that line. Run that ball to the 
Hey, the NSYNC posters. Y'all should have come. It's only like half an hour away. It's just this transition. It's a lot of work. I mean, I just think New York is an experience that unalterably changes a person. It is really great. And all this freedom of college. Make it here, you'll make it. Boom, boom, anywhere. When did you have your last cocktail? She's still hungover. 11.30 this morning. Oh, no, she's still drunk. Jesus, Caitlin. Uh. Uh. Are they still asleep at, like, midday? <laughs> Oh no, sorry. Midday. What is the most Nearly important two right guaranteed to United States citizens? Right to vote. Certain yes. Special capers from Italy. Soprano kids don't like them. What holiday was celebrated for the first time by the American colonists? Martin Luther King. Statue. <laughs> That's answer to number 49. Who was civil rights leader? That baby's gonna blow. <laughs> My dad was a plumber. Tony got about six months left to go on that lining. Oh, it's a shame that we can't warn him. Maybe during the discovery phase of his RICO trial, we can inform his lawyer that Tony needs a plumber. <laughs> Except that's at least a year from now. And by that time, boom! Listen. Okay, now you see that lamp there? Is the show intentionally making him arrogant pricks for us to side with Tony? But, like, they're just cops doing their, like, their normal day-to-day -day job trying to hunt this criminal down or trying to, like, get evidence on this sort of, um, alleged mob boss. So, like, it may, like, they're joking. It's their job. It's their everyday life. But I don't know if the show is intentionally making them seem arrogant, um, to the point where we're like, oh, these guys are pricks. Stuff them. Come on, Tony. We're rooting for you. But at the same time, we know what Tony is. We know what he's involved with. So, I don't know. It's that fine line where it's like, you got to remember, these guys... They're the police officers, they're the law. They're meant to keep these people off the streets, so... Uh, and they've legally acquired um, the warrant to get that wire in. I hope something spoils your butter big, big day. I'm on baby Bing's carpool vehicle. The thing that might, you know, Junta Cadillac DTS returning. stuff up this big day here about five minutes is ago. Carmella's new tennis coach. Well, well, well. Your bingo's up early today. He's in the cab. Copy. I got the handle. Roger that. And that he knows how his brother died and who's responsible and all that dead. You mention me by name? No. Me neither. You hearing this? How the fuck would Patsy know we clip spawns? What, that fucking twin telepathy? Somebody's putting <laughs> ideas in this kid's head. Don't let us interfere with your golf game. <laughs> Maybe a cop trying to flip him. Getting them uh, worked up with theories. This is being in motion. SC team, we got the housekeeper to wait out, then the house is all yours. <laughs> yes. Hit low to high, Carmela, and think about your grip. Fuck. <laughs> no, that's good. She tried to slice it. This is gonna be the worst okay. tennis coach I've ever seen. Let me work with you here. Carm, you collect. We think we heard something from inside the sausage factory. Hold your position. Okay. Is there some sexual tension here between these two? Not between like Adriana and the coach, but the coach? Does she is she attracted to Oh no. Wait. Was she intentionally trying to piss Carmella off? Uh, something's happened with the maid. She's leaving the court.
These guys had the best assignment, <laughs> according to them. The best eye candy for the whole day. The sausage factory. <laughs> They're buckling, they're buckling. I don't know. It could be the stupidest thing that she called them for. And that why I ain't going in today, buddy. Oh, the pipe burst. Okay. Oh, the water heater burst. Then fucking years he said it. Said that, Tony. Are you doing anything over there? Told you not to put this shit. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Never mind that. Save the pictures. There was also an episode of Buffy where the basement got flooded too, man. Like. The prom. Look at this. The fucking room. The room. Mr. Ruggiero, thank God. The fucking water heater blew. Just blew. Mr. Ruggiero's here. Maron. Maron. Do we have any idea what went down? No. It's a family emergency of some sort. Plumber's truck went up there. Look, we don't have any idea what happened, so... Let's not speculate. Hey, that's karma. They were making fun of the pipe or like the water heater bursting um, and giving it their own time frame. And hey, God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> he like, it's his time now. John Cena style. My time is now. We'll send somebody up there tomorrow. Stake the house out. Maybe we got a long-term problem. Well, we're heading back to Quantico. We got a job in Denver. Day after tomorrow. A mosque. Morning. Uh, we'd like to get onto your property so we can trim some growth in the back that's posing a safety hazard with all the power lines running through there. Okay. Of course, I'm on the side. Not Genie. While we're at it, uh, our records show that our repair department has some crews out here yesterday. Were you affected by any of the uh, shortfalls? Yesterday? No. Oh. The people next door have had some trucks go up there, I think. But, no, we've been fine. Uh, how, how about them? Do you know if everything's okay over there? As far as I know. Well, we'll go talk to them. Probably you should. <laughs> They're in them. Pardon? <laughs> Nothing. They're different. For this neighborhood, they're a little different, that's all. Genie, genie, genie. Well, we'll get busy in the back. Fuck, is that Pat Parisi? What the? Oh, shit. What should we do? Drunk. Anyway, I told John. I says, "Look, let's talk downstairs." I don't understand this at all. We've had every one of Tony's phones bugged for four years. But the guy says less than Harpo Marks. Next Tuesday. The wire drops a definite go. Let's see. Mr. Bingle has left the building. <laughs> they fucking made me. Wire drops still <laughs> Confirming access to <laughs> I'm going in. Unit 2, Mrs. Bing in motion. 
Just the maid and it's all yours, team. Copy that. Sign wire's cut. The teacher knows nothing. Okay, so it seems like they're going according to plan so far. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, sorry. Can you tell me, is the West Essex language school around here? There. Uh, is it co-ed? What? You wouldn't happen to be Polish by any chance, would you? Yes. Oh, that's uh, my grandmother is Polish. This guy had to come up clutch for the boys. <laughs> for the boys in blue. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Aid. <laughs> Hi. Aid. Hi. 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 Hey you. Oh, I love those. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Where did you get them? In my house. Ay ay ay. These guys have got the. <laughs> Hey, what'd you do today, boys? I don't know, just looked at some ass, like... Clean up from the flood. It's not under the right duct anymore. Should we move it back? What, two or three feet? Who's gonna notice? Yeah, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Somebody might. But, oh, you gotta figure, though. Uh, normal course of events, Tony will assume Carmella moved it back, right? Or the maid. This is a delicate job Nobody here. Nobody notices. Make an executive decision. Give an end. Easy, 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 easy. When Hadley heard I was the first... This poor blind man sitting next to him. I mean, you could tell he felt completely invaded. We all did. Everybody just stared straight ahead. New York. Hey, does she like the college vibe? The college feel? She getting looked at? With what, huh? I don't know. I heard maybe you got a fucking problem. Like, you don't like being here. I like being here. You sure? Yeah. Y you sure? Yeah. Don't, don't say you're, you're sure if you're not sure. Yeah, I tried to assassinate you the other day. Who was telling me you, you bought your daughter a nice house, you know, after you came over with us? Yeah, that's nice. Wonderful thing. And your brother, Bon Anima. You've recovered from that shit there. You put your grief behind you. Put your grief behind you. Let me hear you say it. Not that easy to put that grief behind him. <laughs> no matter what he says here. I put the grief behind me. Uh, I'm gonna go get a coffee and a bun. You got a younger son too, right? You ought to bring him up to the house. You can hang out with AJ. We can get something to eat. They can go in the pool. The pool I pissed in. I'm good to go. Control, we're in motion. We have left the sausage factory. Touchdown. Dig Soprano, come on, dig it! You want to join the football team? Ah, uh, the Jackson position car. We're so proud to be on the football team and touchdown and football training. <laughs> A lot of um, dissolve cuts this episode, like dissolve to black, transition between scene. I guess to show the passing of time, possibly. Look over here. Minimization, 40 seconds. The old one blew. Flooded the whole goddamn place. Oh, right, at least he gets to put his engineering so skills major, to work. You know? <laughs> so Liliana says you're an engineer. I figured maybe you <laughs> could rig some system. You know, if it happens again, some PVC shit or something. So if it happens again, you get the overflow and you put it over to the corner over there to a saw. Chip out the, the concrete. 4 0. Yeah. They're not discussing OC. Let's see. Maybe he timed 40 seconds. Check back in. 
Maybe Tony knows like the Rico statutes or like sort of like the law. 40 okay, seconds. Two well, minutes much? to talk. Time, uh, materials. I don't know how to concoct, estimate. Oh, well, fair enough. Let me get measured, get started. All right. Hi, Starshu. Uh, Pick up Starshu, man. Let him earn a. Let can him use us? Let him earn a living. You want to take it? No, it's, you go ahead. Come on, go ahead. I'll use the bike. No, I, I have to sort through Meadow's laundry anyway. She's going to be here at noon to get it. Liliana's making her a leg of lamb to take back. Back in Wuj, I had grant from the state to do an autonomous research. Look, you got your workout clothes on. Why don't you use them? I'll take the bike. Jesus already. No, you go ahead. Stas said he could smell the mildew down here. Right, Stas? <laughs> you gotta open these windows up. Let the place dry out. Right out. What you need is more roughage overall in your diet, is what you need. You know, I've had something stuck in my teeth for two days now. Jesus. Well, you gotta use the other floors. <laughs> I wonder if Tony's. I don't know if they're aware of it or it's just like a situation of bad timing here. Like, they're not gonna get the discussions right off the bat with the wire. You gotta be patient. You gotta. You know, pick the right time, the right moment. Obviously, he's got stars in the house right now. They're discussing, you know, including in, like a system to, you know, um, um, drain out like the water if something like that ever happens again. He's talking with Carmela about usual day to day stuff. That I guess it's it, it. I guess it's showcasing there the mundane procedure that's going to go into you know trying to pick the right time or trying to you know get that right moment with the wire for the FBI. You know, it's not going to be you know a touchdown from the beginning per se. Look at look at how much hard work they went through just to you know um just to get the um wire in there, just to get that touchdown. They had to do a long drive. Then it's going to be a possibly even longer drive to get the information they want. So yeah, definitely an interesting first episode for season three. Obviously, now they have the wire in. So we as the audience are aware of the wire now. We're going to be paying attention to the conversations that are going to be having had in that basement. And obviously, you got the situation there with Spoons as... Um, twin brother, there's a little bit of tension right there. So it's going to be interesting to see how this season develops. There's a bit of a like... Uh, you know, we know the FBI, they're going to be a thorn in Tony's side. We know that. But it's interesting to see how that's going to develop as the season um goes along. And like I said, it's a pretty clean slate we're beginning with with season three in terms of like having nothing to go off after season two of like who the main villains or like antagonists towards Tony are going to be. We know the FBI is always there, but in terms of like mafia style um antagonists. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. As always, Benny Bolly Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.